This episode of Texilla is brought to you by The Ben Heck Show. You are continuing on the great Android experiment after yes. the terrible watery death of your iPhone 5. Yes, I am. I'm still enjoying my HTC One very much, uh, but in my recent, though perhaps temporary, switch to Android, I, I became very impressed with one of the apps recommended to me on Lifehacker on their on their bundle page. Um, it's called AirDroid, and it works as a desktop interface for your Android phone. It works incredible. Uh, to use it, you just create an account on the app, and then you head over to web.airdroid.com, and you actually scan the QR code on the screen. Now, the most recent version, too, allows you to use AirDroid even if your phone and computer are on separate wireless connections, which is great. But once you're connected, you'll see your phone right at the top of the box here on the window. Um, the toolbox here is below, which lets you do some very great stuff, uh, some cool and convenient things. For example, you can drag files into this little box here and then we'll upload that file directly to your phone. Then URL, I uh, will let you type in a URL to open on the phone itself. A clipboard is a mirror of the clipboard on your device. An app enables you to install APKs. Now on the left-hand side of the screen, you can read and post text messages and basically access all the stuff on your phone from the various apps. There's even a Find My Phone application here, uh, which enables you to find, lock, or remotely wipe it. Boink! By the way, all of this is totally free. Uh, now, if you go to the premium stuff over here under the premium panel, you can see the different payment levels that you can subscribe to. Um, you get some upgraded features like being able to take pictures of the jerks who stole your phone, and you get priority support, and remote camera, and some more cool uh, functionality out of the application. So you can check it out for free on the Google Play Store. And I have to say, I'm a huge fan. It's kind of a, it's something that I will probably definitely miss if I go back to iOS. So you're going to actually be talking in our Labor Day show. You talk about moving your information of off of iPhone or how you did it, mm -hmm. moving your information off of iPhone onto Android. Um, you, you, this is this is this is big. Do you think the iPhone S, the A7 processor, will be enough to drag you back? I don't know yet. See, now I'm getting kind of I'm getting kind of sensitive about it because I've been so excited about Android, right. and, and some people in the audience are like, "Yeah, you're on Android." So now I'm like, "Oh, do I just go back to iPhone after all of this like excitement and newness?" Well, you could go to BlackBerry. And then my husband is like, "God, you really like this phone. I didn't expect you to actually really like it." <laughs> So, anyway. Can't he just be happy for you? Just be happy for me, Ryan. God. Anyway. Oh <laughs> We've got tons more still to come. But before we do that, it's time to thank one of our sponsors. Join modding wizard Ben Heck and friends as they build and modify a host of amazing community-inspired creations. Be sure to watch new episodes of The Ben Heck Show each week right here at revision3.com slash tbhs. In the latest episode of The Ben Heck Show, Ben shows off some creative case mods. Don't forget to go to element14.com slash tbhs to find out how you can enter to win the latest builds from Ben's show.